Well, it's currently 7 a.m. I just finished my workout. Welcome back to this week's vlog. This week, I sat down with two real estate agents that we're currently working with from Zed Real Estate. They're amazing people with amazing real estate experience. And I wanted to sit down with them one-on-one -on -one to really get a good, valuable understanding of the real estate world and how they operate their business. All right, so we just wrapped up our property shoot. I'm with Steven and Kamal. How do you guys reckon today's property shoot went? Great day. Great day of filming. Awesome. Drone work. You know, all the all the script work as well. And it's also my first first video, so. Yeah, congratulations on that. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's awesome. It was really good. Uh, interested to see a different perspective. Working with Steven for the first time, he hasn't done a video. So I believe it came out really, really good. I love to get a better understanding of what these real estate agents actually do. Because we're filming every single one of their properties, it's really important for me to understand exactly how they run their business and something that I'm also very interested in learning. Kamal, I've got a question for you. What was the main reason you started doing real estate? I've been in a lot of uh, industries, especially related to finance and real estate in, in, indirectly, but it was a natural progression from finance what I was doing. And I can see myself advising people in making those financial decisions all the people say it's real estate, not a financial issue. That's it, yeah. Nice. I like that answer. Stephen, what's one piece of advice you'd give to someone who is just starting in real estate? Be yourself, be honest. Um, time only tells. Like I've started now, I've been here for maybe four months. Um, it gets better and better. Look, just be patient, right? Be patient. One thing you have to do is stop overthinking. You're yeah. Right. The overthinkingness, it, it will not work. Anybody um, who wants to get to real estate, I'm advice for you. There's no shortcuts and there are no hacks. No hacks. No hacks. If you can't be out on the road 24-7 prospecting, this is not a business for you. But if you go like going out, meeting people, helping them, understanding them, you don't need a lot of experience. You just need people's skill. If you have that independence, patience and will to hard work, it's a great business. And nonetheless, research. The more research you put in, the more research you learn. I'm actually tired. <laughs> I don't know what to think anymore. Uh, it's, it's been a long day, a long day where I've never shot anything in my life. Um, like I said, first photo shoot, video shoot. Uh, a lot of drone works and a lot of talking, so look. No, you did a good job. Jay, and you also, a job. you need people like him to support you because I can watch for him. Uh, I did a video and photo shoot with him and a couple of guys who came for the inspection say, this property looks better in video than here. <laughs> <laughs> it was your work, man. Thank, thank you. you. Nah, cheers, guys. I really appreciate working with you guys. Yeah, thank it's you. always a pleasure. Awesome. Thanks guys. Kamal and Steven are very passionate driven people and I love to hang around people that are very passionate about what they do because it really resonates with me. I love putting a lot of time and effort into the thing I love because it doesn't feel like work. It feels like it always gives me energy and that's something that I want to do forever. I also love spending a lot of time working on my Instagram and personal brand. One of my mates who runs a faceless Instagram account has built his Instagram up to over 80,000 followers. That's pretty impressive, and I want to get his insights onto how he runs his Instagram. Whew. So, we're at Mount Dandenong today. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a vlogger, man. What's the one tip you'd give to someone trying to build their Instagram account? Do something original. Uh, you always see these people trying to copy uh, each other and it just doesn't work. For a following and a monetized following, I think you just need to do something you love and something you trust. From your knowledge of the social media world, what do you think is the most popular, scalable Instagram account to build in 2024? I would say sports. I would say anything to do with like point of view sports or especially in the fighting scene, MMA. I would pick a strategy on a person that you like enjoy watching. Mm and I would just make like a fan page almost. It sounds kind of like dumb, mm. but you can definitely monetize a fan page. What inspired you to start an Instagram account and try and build it? Uh, it started with me wanting to like help people with wellness. So it, it, it wasn't to get followers. It kind of just ended up like that because maybe I was passionate about trying to help those who couldn't help themselves. I think it just comes down to something that will help people. Like if you want to build a page, you have to be able to help people. You can't just be one of these gurus that are like, I'm going to sell you a course, hmm. I'm going to get you rich in this many days. Yeah. Like it's just not going to happen. Like even if you come into like 50, 100 or 200,000 followers, 
are those followers going to be genuine if they just want to make money mm. monthly or do you want like a wellness page because then if you have a wellness page like i'm not there for the money but now i can have resources to help people mm. i'm passionate about that sort of thing so no, that's cool what's your definition of success i think for me this is gonna sound a loner as but silence nature like i would love to just have a cottage in the middle of nowhere mm. and just have some friends around here and there mm. I don't know, that's just me. That's cool though. It, but it's, but most people on the internet will feel that that's like a lonely life because yeah. they're all like wanna party. Yeah. We are social beings and we should be with other people. But I believe that if you can't be with yourself, then being with other people is not gonna heal you. Yeah. And as I was saying earlier, I think wellness begins in yourself. 90% of the people we get on our channel, I can't say it because we're faceless, they always message us with issues about fitting in. And they never talk about themselves. They're always like, these people like other things. These people don't want to hang out with me because of all these things. It's never like, I hang out with these people because I want to fit in or I have to change because I have to do this. They always want a quick fix and it's always about social meetings, but it's never about themselves. Mm. If you spend some time with yourself, you'll definitely find what that problem is. No. And that's just me. And silence is the way you do that. Just, you know, you wake up, you spend time with people like properly. You, you don't babble about other people. You don't mm. do all this dumb talking about random stuff, like true conversation like this. Yeah. You start at the top. It's pretty amazing to see how well he's built up this Instagram account and something that I can definitely learn off. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was very different to a lot of my other videos. <laughs> I didn't film a lot, but I wanted to sort of showcase these clips in a very sort of cinematic, talking sort of... Yeah, I, I have no idea where I'm going with this. I hope you guys enjoyed the style of this video and I'm sure to catch you guys next week. <laughs>